Hi, we have Ursula with a new technique today using the memory box dies, and you're, you're going to love this. All right, so I was really excited. These are the dies that I chose for the Project Life this month, and they were letter dies, if you recall. And so what I have here is a 3D card, a couple of them, to show you. And I just want to show you, this is, this is lifted up, so I've got the pop darts, dots on there, and paper behind it, and I've just dressed it up with a little um, sequin there from... Uh, I think Jenny Bolin. Jenny Bolin, yeah. So I'm going to show you how exactly I did this. So what I did is I took my letters, and you'll remember these were all together in a set, but they break apart. So then you can make words with them. So what I've done here is I have my friend, and I actually borrowed a die from Lisa, which is really cute, butterflies. And I've just laid them all out here on my platform, and I'm going to take my piece of paper, and I'm going to make sure I have the textured side down. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball centering this over the top here and very gently lying it. And then I take my top mat, put it right over the top of that. Very gently. Again, you need to be careful to not move anything. Or you could put tape over the whole shebang. You could. I'm too lazy. <laughs> so then we're going to just sit it right into the Vagabond. And I'm holding that. I'm kind of pressing that down. And then I'm just going to run that through. Sorry, I cut you off. It's because I talk too much. All right, here we go. So I'm going to pull that off. And voila. This is going to come out. I'm just going to pop those letters out. So now I've got my card. I'm going to set this aside. And I've prepared a card with uh, some of the tape from, I think this is my mind's eye. If I right, right, right. And I've cut and paste. Yes, cut and paste. Correct. Just set that on there. And then it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I figure out exactly where to have it. Okay. That is so cute. Isn't that neat? Now I'm going to, I'm going to want to, I would trim this so that it were more centered mm -hmm. on there. Um, and then I would take these pop dots and you'd want to put them, you really only need three or four around the edges and then it's going to lift it up so you have this shadow effect. It's Do you beautiful. see that? And I'll just show you again how that looks in the end. Got oh, that shadow effect. I'd love it. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And you can do this with any dies. You could do this with like the flower dies. So if I just took a piece of plain paper and I cut that out yeah. and then lay that on the top of your card, you know, I mean, you could just do this a lot of different ways. I know, yeah. Tons of dies are going to work for this. So. Thanks. That's great. No problem.